Hey, Travels with Dottie here, and today I'm going to show you two of the camps that I know about that um, generally people that don't know anybody can go and join and be part of their little community. The first one is going to call, uh, they call it Q Camp, and there's a Facebook page. Um, uh, Meet in Q. <laughs> Sorry, I hesitated a little bit there. Um, and I'm going to take you there first, and then I'm going to turn around and come back to this very spot, and I'll start over again. I'll take you to the spot, and I think that is the Mobile Traveler group on Facebook. So, and I'm certain how to get to that one. The first one, I've only been there a couple of times, maybe once. So you'll have to bear with me so I'll struggle like you maybe maybe will um, but I'm gonna go for it and this is La Posa South the LTVA this is about three miles south of Quartzsite and to get your permit if they're open you'd pull in here to the parking lot go up there buy your pass $180 for the whole season $40 for every two week period so know that and it's probably going to go. It looks like there's a proposal for it to go up substantially next year. We won't know exactly how much until it happens. Um, so we're going to take the first left here. The first place where it looks like any kind of road. This is a big loop. But we're not going to go through the whole loop. We're going to go about a little over halfway through the loop and then straight on a lesser looking road and we'll run into Q Camp, if I remember everything properly. Um, but the first landmark is gonna be, there is one pavilion out here and it's right here, up on your left. That's the pavilion, you wanna go past that. Pavilion on the left up here, and then uh, there's a vault toilet on the right. You can already see that there's a pretty high concentration of folks camped out here. It's a popular area. Now we're coming around past the halfway point of the loop that goes right back to that main road. And if I keep going straight here, I'm going to get back to the main road, but I'm not going to go straight. I'm going to, the first opportunity I get to, to go left, I'm going left. And today, the date is uh, the 5th of December. We're coming up, you know, it's starting to get busy. But you can see there's still plenty of room out here for you to camp. And uh, I believe this is pretty much it in front of us where you see that big yellow tent. That's kind of the sign with the flags. This is Q Camp. a nice little community of folks. Is it fair to say I've arrived at Q Camp? What's that? Is this Q Camp? Yes, right there. 
And I'm just two. I'm just doing a YouTube video to show people how to get here. And okay. That's uh, Don Gibson's racing stripe with the Texas flag RV yeah. that everybody knows about. And that's actually that tent right there is the community. Um, that's where you all gather up together yeah, and, that's where and, they, and pretty much everybody's welcome to come here and join. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Right so that's there is the com is the campfire that uh, they have every night. Usually, you know, uh, donations for the for the. Uh, uh, firewood, obviously, you know, because one person can't support everything out here. So okay. that's uh, the, the thing that they say when people come. If you're going to, you know, do the fire and stuff like that, donate, you know. Yeah. A, a it's okay that your voice is on the video? Are oh, you okay with that? Um, actually, I didn't know you were videoing right I'm now. Video well, I'm not I'm yeah. voice, but I'm pointed straight ahead with the camera okay. there. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so um, that's great. I mm -hmm. was going to come by here, go by the spot. People that don't, there are a lot of people that, I'm um, Travels with Dottie, by the way, is the name of my channel. Travels with? Dottie. Oh, okay. Oh, That's Dottie. Okay. That's yeah. Dottie. Okay. So um, there are a lot of people who are nervous about coming out here. I don't want to be alone. And I said, you know, there's some alternatives. You can go into a community right, right. away, you know? Well, just to, to give you an idea, um, Lynn Howard is over there. Uh -huh. This is Judy um, Elves. Eddie Schmidt, um, Steve, I don't know his last name, Don Gibson, Joe the Marine. Is Mike Paselli here again this no, year? He's not Mike's here not here this year. year? Not yet. Hopefully he's, he's um, hopefully going to be able to come, but he's okay. dealing with some um, issues. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, you know, Mike's, Mike's a, Mike's a, a good guy. guy. He's a really good guy. And uh, anybody that comes out um, or wants to stop by, um, you know, we're big promoters of the food bank. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I saw that on, yeah. on, on the, the and it's meet and queue is the original Facebook. Meet, yeah, original meet. And original meet and queue, yeah. it's called. Yeah. Okay, man, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Me. And I'm Ed. Ed Rob, nice Rob, Tra Rob. And Rob, and Dottie. Hi, Dottie. <laughs> thanks, Ed. <laughs> Two beautiful dogs. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. All right, so that's a bunch of stuff to know about um, the campsite here, and we'll go kind of sneak through here we'll we'll turn around because it well I think we can we can drive through right here very nice you can tell very friendly people you're welcome here um, such a nice guy um, I, I asked about Mike Paselli because he's kind of the founder of this camp and he's here every year and I'm sorry to hear that Mike if you happen to listen to my channel ever I hope everything's okay um, very very nice man so we're gonna go back to the the front office here and we're gonna um, do the other one so we're back out to that main row we're gonna complete that route the loop and we're gonna go back up to the front of La Posa South and retrace, we're retracing our steps here a little bit. And we'll go to the spot. day here I think it's um, about 70 degrees I would say about now I got my new head unit in the car to replace the old one so a big screen with Apple play and one thing that um, I, I didn't realize I was going to sacrifice is the outdoor temperature. I guess it's not it's not reading that or doesn't display it, but it was wildly inaccurate anyway. <laughs> I'm suspecting that the temperature sensor for the outdoor temperature was near the engine or something, and it was always pretty far off. I can always look at my temperature on my watch. And it said 71 degrees. It's uh, 1249. Wow. 
this gives you kind of an idea of um, as we're running parallel to the main road. This B is you're looking for the main road is on your uh, we're running parallel to be to your right and uh, the end of the loop is up here and this will take us right back to the main road and we'll go back up to that um, the office and work our way back um, it's not quite the spot isn't quite as close as Q camp and again the Facebook page for uh, Q camp is original meat in Q I'll put both those Facebook pages in the description so you don't have to write anything down or memorize anything just go into the description and click and you'll 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 get where you need to go for the facebook the community page i'm here to say they're big supporters of the food bank they have fundraisers um he pointed out that tent there that's sort of the community space where they have you're into potlucks and campfires and you know there's you will not run out of things to do if you become part of either one of these two communities. And we're coming out at the water station. And the dump station is uh, up. It's going to be, as we turn on the road, the dump station will be on the left. And the, uh, the dumpsters on the right, and it's kind of a big loop. And we could we would turn right here to go uh, to. Um, actually, you know what? I don't need to go all the way. So here's here's pretty simple directions. I'm going to turn around up here, and I'm going to tell you to go straight on the main road for. I'd, I'd say it's three quarters of a mile. I can't say for sure, but the here's the easy landmark to make your turn is those dumpsters in the dump station. Right? Take a look at this. You see on the left there, you see the dump station, you see that white pickup truck, the Class C, by the dumpsters. Just before you get there and before in the dump station straight ahead, it says um, dump dump a bump right there the big sign and there's people in line take a right right here so that'll save that'll save travels with dotty some a little bit of time right dotty and uh you just want to follow the road here and we're going to take our first left we're going to go through a wash and um, just go slow. Most rigs can make it through here. And if you if you got a really giant rig and you're afraid for this this the couple of dips we're going to go through, you can go further down. I just got a bunch of dust in here. There's there's like a dust storm. Not a dust storm, but you get these little mini tornadoes of dust and one just appeared right beside the truck and I'm covered with dust. So we come over that. That's the biggest dip we have to contend with. And then there's another couple of small ones right here. But um, if you got a really big rig, there's, you, you really got to go down further and come back up and... Um, if you go back to the first video I did in Quartzsite, the arrival video, the trip video, it'll show you um, how to do that. And I think I mentioned the turnoff for the spot on the way back to my place. But I think 90% of the rigs can go through just what I went through. Just go real slow. That's all. And there's a cross it's here. There's a, a stake in the ground, a brown one, a BLM stake that's going to pass on the left. And we're going to go through another another wash here that's very minor. Just go slow. 
And here's what we're going to be looking for. We're going to be looking. Um, we're going to be looking for a big orange arrow sign, and just stay in this road, and you're going to run right into the sucker. You're, you can't miss it. Just follow this road. And guess what? There's a. You see that? Um, we'll get up closer so you can see it bigger on the screen. But there's a big orange sign with an arrow to the right, and it says the spot. <laughs> it's not hard. So it says the spot. You make it right here, and just go straight down this road. And as you get down here, there's a big yellow flag that says the spot. As you get closer and closer, it gets more and more obvious. And if uh, Randy's the guy that founded this, and if he's there, we'll uh, we'll get out and talk to him. doesn't I don't see his van I don't see I don't see any of the oh I see his van so he could be here but I don't think so it looks pretty there's no one here but this is the sort of just like the other place this is the community um, the community tent and I don't think he's around but we will just check and make sure right Donnie We're gonna take this up, flip it around. And I do see Randy there at, at his station. The bar, the social center, the spot. Hey Randy, this has been, uh, he's been uh, adding to this bar every year. No, and I, make, I make a new one every year. You make a brand new one every year? I make a brand new one every year, and at the end of the year, we have a barn burning. I didn't know Part. that. Yeah. Every, I thought it was the same bar you just add on to. No, no. Okay. Every year, make a new one. So, we're yeah. at the spot, and um, I, I, I was over at uh, Q Camp. Yeah. So, I'm making a video for people that... I have people that ask, you know, I'm, I want to come to Quartzsite. I'm nervous. I don't know where to go. I don't want to be by myself. Sure. I want stuff to do. And I said, well, you know, there are a couple of camps in La Posa South that everybody's welcome to. And I got a ton of requests to do a video. So, so you I started it. with um, Q Camp. Right. And um, then I showed how to get here. And I'm here. So tell did, us. Did you emphasize the arrow down there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. At night, yeah, yeah, at said, night that really pops. People can't get lost. <laughs> I did emphasize that yep. and uh, double underlined it. So tell me a little bit about how long you've been around? How long's the, oh. the spot? It, what was it called it before? It started as the dead end camp. The dead end camp. That's what it was when I first came yes, here. Yes, because that is a dead end. Right. Yeah. And, and it wasn't a positive thing. So I right. didn't like the So the name spot, you yeah. changed it. To you know the how spot. I came up with that? So I'm doing YouTube, and I was going to ask my subscribers. I said, I'm trying to figure out a name for this, this spot we're at, so I want you guys to help me name this spot. I mean, it's a beautiful spot. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. How about That's it. Spot. The That's spot. It. That's, it. That's and how it's it came the up Mobile with it. Travelers, the YouTube channel you're talking about, right? Yeah. You, you haven't been very active. I have that. not been active. I've been too busy. Uh, yeah. So anyway, um, you can come. Anyone can come here, right? Yeah. And yeah. the only request is that you get along, behave. That's, that's just, it. Right. Um, yeah, I might I may build a bar, but we don't have a lot of drunks. We we, we won't have people drinking too much. I've been I, I, put I haven't the kibosh I've to only that. camped here a couple of times, but I've been camping near here mm -hmm. for three years and you know I come here all the time mm -hmm. and I've come during the parties and there no I've never seen like no. a falling down drunk, obnoxious no. person at all. Because I'm usually the only one here and I, that's me doing the serving. 
I don't deal with it. I no, I'm not gonna. And we did have somebody this year had a little bit too much, and I took his bicycle keys. He took his bicycle. Keys. <laughs> he was on a bike, and I just put him inside, and I said, "You sleep on the couch tonight." <laughs> so you have some specialties here. Karaoke is one of them. That's a regular thing. Karaoke um, and potluck. Holiday dinners. Oh, holiday yes. potlucks. Yes. How many turkeys did you fire pit cook this year? Four. Four. Okay. Four and one ham. And one ham. Yep. And this will be repeated again Christmas. Yes. yes. So if you're camping here, yep. it's a pretty wide area. You can get fairly remote from the center here if you don't like the hubbub of activity. Oh, yeah. Um, and you can kind of gravitate in here when you want to. But like everybody else, at 10 o'clock, oh, it, sh it 945. shuts down. It shuts down. 945, all it, the music goes off. and We'll still sit and talk. But. And what would you say the, <coughs> the circumstance, general circumstances and age range of people are that stay in the spot? Um, 48 to 78. 48 to 78. That's who's here right now. Okay. 48 to 78. <laughs> Uh, the average is probably in mid-60s. Like my, my yeah, age. Yeah, yeah mid-60s. Mid yeah. 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 Um, a lot of couples, a lot of single people. It's we a pretty good mix. Yeah, a yeah, little bit of mixture of everything. We even got a family over here with a six-week-old baby. No kid. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, six-week-old baby in there, just right there. There's uh, We got one, two, three, four roads that you can go down. So it's quite a big area that people camp in. I'd say about 50 acres. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, people worry about safety too. Like, is my stuff going to be okay when I go into town? If you're camping in here, have you Never. ever had ever. someone ripped off when Never. they've gone into town? Never. And in how many years have you been six. doing it? Six. Six years. It's yeah. Never happened. Never. Okay. Never. Nothing's ever come up missing. Um, We've never even, we've had the ambulance out here a couple of times, but never, no, no police calls, no nothing. It's, it's really relaxed. Really relaxed. All right, man. Well, I thank you for um, giving all the information, and I yeah. just want to reiterate that everyone's welcome to camp here. You don't oh, have to know anybody. You don't need no, a reservation. No, nothing. You, you pull up, and if you're not, you don't even know where, you right. have no idea where to even park your rig. You pull right up here, and you can come up to the tent here and ask you. If you're not here, ask anybody. Anybody, anybody will help you. And, and, and also the, the, the activities we have, you don't have to be camped here. Right, right, You could right, be right. camped at the Q camp that you just showed. Yeah. And we got a lot of those people that come over, you know. This is New York Joan. Hey, Joan. Hi. Say hi to the, YouTube, the uh, YouTube world of Travels with Dottie. Hi, YouTube world of Travels with Dottie. Oh, that was good. <laughs> that was a good one. All right. Well, thanks, Randy. I yes. appreciate it. See you. See, See you, you later. at the next event. Bye. See you later. All right. I don't know how that's going to work out in editing, but when I first pulled up to the spot, um, there was nobody here, and I sort of wandered around and talked about the spot a little bit, and then I got back in the car, and Randy came up. So I switched gears, um, told Randy what I was trying to do, had an interview with him, discovered I didn't hit the record button. I said, none of that's any good. <laughs> We have to do it again, so we did it again, and that's what you see, what you saw just before this, and that's going to be the end of the video today. Um, I, I hope you got a good taste of two different um, camps you can you can go to where there's plenty of activity and plenty of community and uh, um, a couple of people, more than a couple of people, have requested this video, and I hope I did it right, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm grateful that you watched it. Take care.